Hi, I'm Ben Messenger for Waste Management World. I'm in Munich at the EFAT exhibition. I'm on the AUT stand with Marine. Marine, can you tell us about the company? Of course. Um, AUT was found in 2011 and we're essentially a producer of recycling technologies. So we do everything from plant layouts, from building entire recycling plants to shredding equipment. So um, that's kind of also our key product. Um, we've got patterns on our shredding equipment and I guess that's something we're going to talk about today. So should we talk about this machine behind us? <laughs> yeah, uh, essentially this is our new Crossflow Shredder SQ series. It's um, at the end of the day chain mill so it doesn't use um, shears or knives and that machine can be used for treatment uh, for the treatment of very different types of input material. So you can use it for electronic scrap, you can use it for domestic waste, you can use it for glass fibre reinforced plastics. It also does, of course, metal scrap. Um, yeah, so... And I understand it produces a number of different particle sizes. Oh yeah, definitely. So um, it's equipped with screens at the bottom of the wall and you can exchange the screens and depending on the size of the holes in the screens, that's the output size you, you get at the end, yeah. Well, should we go and take a closer look at how it works? Oh yes, of course, yeah. So here's the flails. Can you tell us some more about the marine? Yeah, of course. Um, they're actually pretty heavy, specifically in this machine here. Um, this machine comes in two or four with yeah, two sets of chains or one set of chains. Depends kind of up to the customer how many he wants to use. Uh, he can either use two or four. Um, this element here is essentially fixed. It's clamped into this chain head. So you can remove the head and you can take it out and then but at the end of the day the customer tends to change just you know the end pieces of the chain and then exchange it with new ones. And how long would these chains typically last? Uh, it really depends on the input material so if you have um, metal scrap you need to check um, in the three shift operation you need to check at least once a day what, what the chains look like and then you can um, put in new ones or turn them around, depending on what they look like. And we can see behind us the mesh here where the, the particles exit the um, chamber. How long would these typically last? Um, they, these, the mesh we see in this machine, they are typically used for RDF because the holes are rather small yeah. and um, customers tend to need very fine RDF. And if you have, again, a three shift operation, then they will last about three months. So. And, and how much does the size of the mesh change compared to the different types of waste that go into it? Oh, it's, it does change a lot really. For instance, RDF, when you have um, a cement production plant, when you have a cement producer, he needs very fine RDF, you know, that can be blown into the cement kilns. Whereas um, a, a company that only recycles or treats a metal scrap, then they, need, they tend to use just bigger output because it's easier for separation and everything. So then we have about a, a hole with, with diameter of 80 millimeters. Well, now we're at the other end of the machine and uh, this is where the material comes out. It's conveyed um, with these two screws. And uh, for instance, here there's some metal scrap and that uh, came out of, or that was treated in this machine. and these types of screens were used, so we've got a, color, a couple of other samples of material here, but yeah, that's, that's the metal. And uh, so we can see that the, the hole size here for the, the mixed metals is much larger than we were looking at. Oh yeah, in definitely. The up there. And that, that was more of an RDF size. Definitely. These types of um, screens that we had in the machine, they're not really useful for metal because, yeah. you know, they're separated with, for instance, magnetic separators and it's just easier for the magnetic separators to pick bigger pieces because that would have been just too fine. I right, see so over here you have a kind of intermediate size that looks oh, yeah. like it's used for glass fibre. Should we take a Yeah, of that? course. Well, here's another output sample. It's um, really an increasingly common waste stream. Um, it's fibre reinforced plastics and there's lots of customers that come to us and ask whether we can treated with our machines as well and uh, well this is kind of what comes out it's um, a different type of screen was used it was a, an oval screen but you can also get very different output sizes here as well for instance that's very fine that's something one of our customer needs for further treatment so 
Yeah, you can get really... This is a material that's commonly used in wind turbines and those oh, kind yes. of technologies. This one actually so, is from wind turbines. I mean, as, yeah. we, as we see those technologies age and come out of service, there's going to be a lot of this material Definitely. in the processing. And you know, since we're in Germany now, I'm sure you've seen on the motorway somewhere lots of wind turbines to the left and the right side when you look out of the windows. Yep. And yeah, they have a lifetime of about 15 to 20 years and you know... Pretty soon there's <laughs> going to be a lot coming through. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Should we take a look at the RDF side? Yeah, that's a good idea. So I see we have an oval mesh here and two different types of RDF. Can you tell us how that works? Oh yeah, of course. Um, as I said before, we don't just have um, screens with different sized holes, but we also have screens with very different types of shapes. So the oval mesh was actually used for one type of RDF, which is a little bigger, and the screens we saw inside the machine they were actually small and they were circular and they can be used for a finer type of RDF. So that's, I can show you later. And would that be the type of RDF or maybe SRF that you would use in a cement plant? Yes, exactly, exactly, that's it. So because um, cement producers, they need a very fine type of RDF, they need usually um, circular screens with a diameter of 10 millimeters. And yeah, that's, that's what you can use then. So Marine, what sort of throughput would this machine be able to handle? Oh, it depends on the, on the input material again. So if you have mixed metal scrap and you have um, a, screens that have uh, bigger holes, for instance, the holes we saw there with 80 millimeters, then you can get about eight, six to eight tons an hour. And if you have um, RDF with very small holes in the screens, then it's about four, four to five tons an hour. And that's for mixed municipal waste? That's for mixed municipal waste, exactly. Okay, and where would our viewers be able to go to find out more about the company? Uh, yeah, well, you can check our website. It's www.aut-chemnitz.de or you just follow our ads in waste management world. <laughs> Excellent. Marine, it's been a pleasure. Thanks yeah, for your time. Thank you.